Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to fix PUBG Battlegrounds crashing at startup, not launching, not loading, lagging or showing black screen error on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to check system requirements. It's an important step to check whether your PC needs or have those requirements or not. So for that, simply go to the Steam, go to the store page, search for the game and then go below. And here you can see the system requirements to play the game on your PC. After this, try to launch the game and check if you can play the game. The next solution is to restart PC or Steam. For that, go to Steam over here, click on Steam and then click on exit option. After that, click on Windows icon over here and then click on power and then select restart. This will restart your PC once. After that, try to launch the game and check if it works. Next solution suggested is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to Steam, go to the library section, select your game, right click on it, select properties, go to the install files and then here click on verify integrity of game files. After the game files is verified, now launch the game and check if you can play it. Next solution suggested is to update graphics card. For that, go to the search bar, look for device manager over here, go below expand display adapters, right click on the graphics card, click on update driver option and then select search automatically for drivers. This will search for the best drivers for your PC and after that try to launch the game and check if it works or else I have provided the link in the descriptions. Simply go through them and download the latest drivers for your PC. Next solution is to run game as administrator. For that go to Steam, under library section select your game, right click on it, on the game select properties. Now go to the install files, click on browse option over here. And then this will land to the folder where your game has been installed. So simply click on TSL game, then go to the binaries, then Win64. And here TSL game application, simply right click on it, select properties, click on compatibility. And here click on run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and OK. If this works, then fine. Otherwise, simply click on run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 and then click on apply and OK. Next, you simply click on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply and OK. After that, try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you. Next is to run system file checker. For that, you simply need to press Windows plus R type CMD and then press on OK. Now type the command prompt that I have provided in the description and after that simply press on enter it will start repair the corrupted files you need to wait for some time and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not the next solution is to modify launch option for that simply go to the steam select your game on the library section right click on it select properties here under general you need to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game if not type minus dx12 and then try to play the game if it works or else you can also write minus windowed minus windowed and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you if not the next solution is to clear download cache of the steam so for that simply go to the steam over here Click on Steam, click on Settings, go to the Download section and here go below and click on Clear Cache option. After clearing cache of the Steam, now try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you. The next is to disable in-game overlays. For that go to Steam, under Library section select your game, right click on it, click on Properties and here under General you can see Enable the Steam overlay while in game option is enabled. Simply disable it 
and then try to launch the game and check if this works same process you need to do for the ge force experience open it click on the gear icon beside username tap on general and then switch off in-game overlay option from there or for discord overlay simply go to the user settings game overlay tab switch off enable in-game overlay option and there after that launch the game and check if this solution works for you the next solution is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the search bar search for windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature click on change settings here you need to find the game if it is listed if not simply click on allow another app go to the browse option over here then go to the path where your game has been downloaded so simply go to steam click on steam apps then go to the common then select your game go to the tsl game binaries win64 and here add the game after it has been added see simply click on both private and public boxes and after that click on ok and then try to launch the game and check if the solution works for you next is to disable third party overlay applications if there is any third party applications enabled such as nvidia shadow play or msi after Bona, then you should disable it because this can also lead to some unexpected issue while playing the game so make sure you disable all these applications and then try to launch the game next solution is to check graphic settings of the game so make sure you check the graphic settings of the game because some kind of texture quality or resolution impacts the game directly while playing so it's better to lower the graphic settings and then try to launch the game and play it hopefully this solution will work next is to close unnecessary background task for that simply go to the task manager over here under process tab search for those apps which is of no use or consuming high resources so simply select it right click on it and click click on end task this will close the unnecessary background task that is going on and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you next is to update windows for that simply go to the search option over here search for check for updates option here windows interface will open simply you need to click on check for updates this will search if there is any update available simply click on update option and then try to launch the game and see if the, this solution works next is to run game on dedicated graphics card for that what you have to do is simply go to the search bar search for graphic settings here you need to add the game if it's not added so simply click on add desktop app go to the game folder where your game has been installed so here you need to go to the folder where your game has been installed select the game and add it now you can see it has been added over here so click on the arrow icon under GPU preference you need to click on select high performance and then launch the game and see if this solution works for you if not the next solution is to install visual c++ for that i have provided the link in the description simply go through it paste the link and install the latest visual c++ for your computer and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works if not the final solution suggested is to reinstall pubg battlegrounds game for that simply go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option after that finally click on uninstall option this will uninstall or remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once and then relaunch the game on your pc and then try to check if this works for you hopefully now you can play the game without any further problem so all these are some of the best solutions suggested to fix pubg battlegrounds crashing or not launching or lagging error on pc so that's all for now thank you